Today I'm going to show you how to set up and install a Wi-Fi thermostat that is from Honeywell. This is T9 thermostat. I'm going to replace with my old thermostat in the house. Now this comes with a lot of features. We can use it wirelessly like over the Wi-Fi with our app in our iPhone or Android phone. So it's very good smart thermostat which can be used and configured according to our need. So let's start and see how it is. It comes in a box. We get C adapter with it. So we definitely need a C wire. So if you don't have, then you have to install it or you can use the adapter. And you also get one sensor with it, which is uh, good for installing in your bedroom or any other room you want. So this is the sensor. I'll show you how to install and set up the sensor as well. It comes with batteries, so that's good. And it should last longer, about a year. So this is the actual thermostat. This is how it looks like. So this is a touch screen panel, so we can use it. So this is the mounting place where we have to install all the wires now it's easy to open like it says full and we can open it so we have to install it on the wall so let's start the installation and then we will do the Wi-Fi setup of this thermostat and then we will see how it works here you can see I have installed it so you can see I have mounted it and just check the wires proper wires and just install it according to the color take a photo of the old thermostat wiring so that it's easy to use and because I have a C wire already installed so I just plugged it in now simply place the thermostat on here make sure you know if you have a C wire or not so let's start the setup get started click on it select your language select the area you want to use this thermostat I'm going to use it in the living space again confirm if it is a living space or if you want to add more rooms select Fahrenheit or Celsius next select if it is a forced air radiant or boiler so you have to select the correct one so this is a forced air click next if it's gas yes if it's electric you can do that so select gas high efficiency that's correct so these are the new first furnaces click next so success so we have installed it now I'll show you how to uh, install batteries and set up your sensor so simply take the sensor and open from this end install the batteries Press the connect button which you can see there and now you can place it in a bedroom you want so we have set up this one so it has a 3 mm tape which you can use behind it and place it on the wall just five feet above now click ok add the sensor or add device so click on that so we will start the setup for this so it might take few minutes or seconds so make sure like the sensor is active the batteries are installed it's preparing click next so it's connecting it might take few seconds or a minute so make sure the green light is on so that we can use it so click next if your sensor is not showing up make sure you press the connect button on the sensor after opening the front and the green light will show up now select where your sensor is if it's a master bedroom or any other bedroom now select yes once we have done everything just read placement tips select the box and click on the next button after that click next 
you can click done adding sensors if you have more you can add now click Wi-Fi get started so this is the Wi-Fi setup so make sure your Wi-Fi is on now it will show up the list of Wi-Fi networks or the name of the routers select your Wi-Fi network so it can connect with 2.4 or 5 GHz so I have the 5 one where 2.4 as well so click connect enter the password of your Wi-Fi network and click on the next button so it's connecting successful so our thermostat is connected to the Wi-Fi click OK now you can do the connect app but we can do that later on once we finish all the setup so click create schedule now click next so first is the wake time when do you get up so select the wake up time and then click on the next select which room you want priority for the heating so if it's a living room or your bedroom select that select that room select the temperature you want that is the master bedroom next here you can see temperature settings so if you want a room heated 24 degrees you can select 24 y heat to 24 degrees like this so I have made it 25 then 24 and you have to keep cool so if you want a cooler when it's too hot so for that you can simply select like 29 or 30 degrees so if the temperature goes above that it will start the cooling now select the fan like if you want an auto fan auto or always on or circulate so more efficient is circulate now next is away time so when do you leave your home select that time and click on the next button select what is the priority when you leave like if it's a bedroom or, or your living room and click next select temperatures like previous one and select if it's auto or not so select home temperature that is the return time select the fan same sleep priority so everything is same so once you select the wake time timing priority fan speed same way you have to do for all other settings so this way we can finish our settings now click on the done button so it will set up the temperature now you can go to this menu from here and you can select any modification any changes you want to do for example if you want to change the mode and you want to select just heating you can select on that you can do auto there heating and cooling will work automatically or you can just select only cooling fan speed you can select according to yourself so this way we can do the setup next thing is to connect the app so if you go to the section connect app just click on that so it will show you how to do that you will see here it says download the app from the app store yes i have the app now go to your phone for example i have android phone you can also use uh, iphone here now first thing is to download the app so that is a honeywell home app so we will go to the google play store or the app store now type in just type in honeywell home app you will see the top now select the residual smart honeywell app click on the download and open button now do the registration create an account and sign in now follow the instruction on the screen of the thermostat and you will get a security code you can do that you will also get an email about the account confirmation you have to confirm that as well so once you do everything you can just go to the ahead so here we can see once you confirm the code the app will authenticate the thermostat so it is configured and we are ready to use it here so click on the done button 
you want you can increase the security for the app you can create a pin or you can create a, uh, like the sign in option for example the fingerprint scanner automatically the app will show up the details here of the weather details outside all the details should be coming up on the app section you can control the way your thermostat anywhere from the world using this so this is the Honeywell T9 Wi-Fi thermostat thanks for watching